In today's video, we will be discussing about International Criminal Tribunal at Nuremberg. Now, towards the end of World War II, there were three big conferences held in Yalta, Potsdam and Tehran by the Allied forces. In the three big conferences, a way was to be found in which several senior Nazi officials who were responsible for the Holocaust and the mass atrocities could be brought to justice. In 1943, the Moscow Declaration was signed, which was drafted by Winston Churchill and constituted of four declarations, out of which the fourth declaration in regard to the atrocities stated that these Nazi officials need to be brought to justice in Germany itself. Consequent to these three big conferences and the Moscow Declaration, in 1945 on August 8th, the Allied forces met and signed the London Agreement according to which a tribunal was to be constituted at Nuremberg to try the German Nazi officials and bring them to justice. Now this particular tribunal was to be established and to be regulated in accordance with the Nuremberg Charter or the London Charter. So, the agreement signed on August 8, 1945 is known as the London Agreement and the Charter according to which the court was going to be functioned were, came to be known as the London Charter. Now, when it was decided that these Germans have to be prosecuted, the reason why Nuremberg was chosen as the place of trial was primarily because it was the place where the Nazi party had initially originated and hence in Palace of Justice in courtroom number 600, the Nuremberg trial began. Out of the four allied powers, each country had to nominate one member as a judge on the trial and each country had to nominate an alternate judge on the trial. Also, each country had to nominate one prosecutor from each country who was responsible for the prosecution of these crimes. Nuremberg trial has come down in history as one of the most important international criminal trials and it was for the first time after the Leipzig trials in which the individual criminal responsibility in international law was being recognized. The principles by which the Nuremberg trial happened came to be known as Nuremberg principles and several other trials which happened in international law after that were based on Nuremberg principles and it came and in, it came down in history as one of the most important you know, trials in international law. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the video, then please like and share and subscribe to our channel Intellectia. You can also follow us on Twitter. Do tell us in comment section what all videos of international law do you want us to make. Thank you.